Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I want to focus on on uh, this video here is the difference of two squares. Okay, and this comes up when you're studying the topic of factoring. And it's hugely important. You absolutely have to know how to work with this um, uh, formula. And it's a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. So hopefully you're, you're familiar with it. If you're not, then... Um, uh, this is going to come up when you start studying um, how to factor uh, polynomials. And if this is all new to you, I would suggest hopping over to our site, AlgebraTestHelper.com, and um, start maybe look at some of the more basic information. But if you're already familiar with the difference of two squares, what I'm going to do is just show you some uh, various examples on how to use it, okay, just to make sure that you know how to use it, because it's going to come up time and time again, time and time again in factoring. All right, so. Let's go ahead and take a look at some real easy examples first. So what if I had x squared minus 16 and I wanted to factor that? Okay, so I just have to follow the pattern here. You can see the x is basically the a. And now here we have 16. We don't know what it is, right? It's, well, 16 squared. No, it's just 16. Well, it's no big deal. What we want to think of 16 as, of course, is the square of some number. So that's basically x squared minus 4 squared, right, which is the same thing as 16. So let's just go ahead and follow the pattern here. It's going to be a plus b, or these two values, the sum of those two values there. So this is going to be x plus 4 times x minus 4. Okay, so that would be the factoring of this. x squared minus 16 would be x plus 4 times x minus 4. Real easy. Okay, well, it's easy for me, but if you're just learning this, you know, it could be, you know, first time out might, might not be as, uh, as, as, uh, as easy. Okay. So I don't want to assume, and I'm sure the first time I saw it, you know, uh, you know, it took me some practice to get this down. All right. So that was a pretty easy problem. Let's take a look at another problem. What if we had, let's kind of make it a little bit more interesting. How about 4x squared minus 9? 4x squared minus 9. So what you're looking for is you're looking um, for the squares of two things. Okay, so if I wanted to factor that, are these the difference of two squares? Well, 4x squared, what, what can we, how can we write that? Maybe you can write that this way, right? 2x squared minus 3 squared. So that's the first thing you have to do is think of these, these uh, terms. You have to look and see, okay? if you can write them as a difference of two squares. So here we have 2x parentheses squared. Okay, now if I square that, I'll get back to 4x squared, and of course, 3 squared is 9. So I'm going to go ahead and follow the pattern. This is my a, and this is my b. Okay, so a plus b is going to be 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3. Okay. So that's how we, uh, you know, that's how you want to use a difference of two squares. Not, not all the situations you're going to be um, faced with are going to be really easy. I would still consider this a pretty, pretty moderate, pretty easy um, situation to be able to recognize when to use the difference of two squares. So let's keep going. Let's kind of, kind of make it more challenging. Oh boy, how about this? Um, x plus, uh, x plus two squared minus, uh, let's see here, 25, okay? So what if you had something like this and you wanted to factor it? Well, could you do that? Well, is it a difference of two squares? If you look at it, it is, right? This is, this is x plus two squared, and then 25 is the same thing as five squared. So I can write this as x plus two squared minus five squared. Okay, and once again, we have the difference of two squared, so we have to be really careful here. When we do this, this is our a, and this is our b. So we're first gonna write a plus b, so that's gonna be x plus two, I like to kind of use parentheses, x plus two plus five, parentheses. Matter of fact, let's use brackets. Okay, remember these parentheses and brackets are just grouping symbols. Okay, so you can interchange them. So this is a plus b, and then a minus b would be x plus 2 minus 5. Okay, 
and this would all simplify down to x plus 2 plus 5 is x plus 7 oops x plus 7 times x plus 2 minus 5 that's going to be minus 3 so that'd be x minus 3 okay all right so here's just a few examples to kind of teach you how to use the difference of two squares um, uh, you know I can do you know endless examples but hopefully if you understand this then I think you'll pretty much be able to um, get the idea uh, with additional problems remember you want to look for the difference of two squares and sometimes it's not going to be as obvious you have to look for those patterns but when you do you can use this formula here really important stuff all right so hopefully this video helps you out please come over to our site algebratesthelper.com have tons more of videos and other free tutorials on factoring and um, good luck and we hope to see you soon